Whether you know him as Eminem, Slim Shady, or Marshall Mathers, there's no denying the huge impact he's had on the music industry. Hey everyone, it's Vic from Vic Music 90s, and today we're diving into the emotional story of Eminem. Even though he's really talented, what's even more impressive is how determined he is to succeed no matter what obstacles come his way. Let's check out his story. Born Marshall Bruce Mathers, third in St. Joseph, Missouri in 1972. Marshall was named after his father, who abandoned him and his mother, Debbie. As a teenager, Marshall tried reaching out to his dad multiple times by writing letters, but he never got a response. Debbie had a hard time finding stable work, so she moved Marshall to different places across the country a lot. This made it tough for him to keep up with school because he had to switch schools every couple of months. Because of this way of life, Marshall had a tough time making friends. His teachers even thought he might have some learning challenges. This made it even harder for him to fit in, especially because he was white in mostly black neighborhoods and schools. But friends and family say that Marshall got used to being a recluse, closing himself up in his room and immersing himself in the world of comic books. Marshall was bullied in school, notably by a boy called D'Angelo Bailey, who attacked him in a school bathroom, resulting in him being in a coma for 10 days. After eventually waking up, he had to relearn many of his motor skills. Despite going through all this tough stuff, Marshall's mom, Debbie, is also said to have been guilty of something called Munchausen syndrome by proxy. This means she convinced her kids that they were sick when they actually weren't. Even though Marshall and his mom moved a bunch, he mostly grew up in Detroit. Finally, Marshall found comfort in his friendship with his mom's half-brother, Ronnie Polkingharn, and they became really close. And although Ronnie was just a bit older than Marshall, he became like a mentor to him. He introduced Marshall to rap music by playing him a track called Reckless from the break-in soundtrack. Later on in life, Ronnie would take his own life, leaving Marshall traumatized and speechless for days, incapable of bringing himself to attend his funeral. Marshall's schooling was a bit all over the place. He spent three years in ninth grade and ended up leaving high school when he was 17. Even though Marshall left school, he always had a passion for English. Because of that and his love for rap music, he started going to open mic rap battles to test out his material. And it was around this time that he played around with rap names, going by names like MCMM and Eminem, like the candy. Eventually, he changed it to the Eminem moniker we know today. Even though Marshall got deeply involved in the underground rap scene, he always had to deal with challenges because he was white. He worked with a lot of local rappers, like his friend Proof, but he still found it hard to get others to see him as a serious artist. After meeting his future wife Kim in the late 80s and having his daughter Haley in the mid-90s, he tried to make it big with his first record, Infinite. Unfortunately, Marshall's first record didn't do well at all, which was really tough for him and made things hard in his personal life. Finding it hard to support his family, Marshall worked 60 hours a week at Gilbert's Lodge Family Restaurant. But after losing his job there and feeling crushed by the failure of his record, Infinite, Marshall attempted suicide. By 1997, Marshall was living with his mom, Debbie, Kim, and Haley in her trailer. Around mid-1997, he decided to switch things up. He started writing more controversial and intense lyrics, and he created the alter ego Slim Shady to go with his new style, giving him a platform to create chaos in the airwaves. What followed was the Slim Shady EP, and after the EP fell into the hands of Dr. Dre, Eminem, also known as Slim Shady, received almost overnight success with Dr. Dre backing him. Since Marshall skyrocketed to fame in the rap scene, he's had a lot of highs and lows, both in terms of his music and how critics see him. But it's the details of his personal life, specifically in a courtroom, that have garnered plenty of media attention. Marshall and Kim have been married and divorced twice. Marshall's relationship with his mom has also been up and down. In fact, his mom sued him for $10 million for slander because of the Slim Shady LP. And that's not the only time Marshall has been sued. Far from it. He's been taken to court multiple times for track sampling copyright claims and numerous defamations of character. He was even sued for defamation on a diss track he did by the kid who put him in a coma when he was younger. There were even rumors that the Secret Service looked into him because of a controversial line in his song, We As Americans. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Outside the courtroom, Marshall was also fighting his own personal battles. While filming the semi-autobiographical movie, Eight Mile, he struggled with insomnia because of the long hours on set. To cope, he got hooked on prescription drugs to help him sleep. Things got out of hand, and Marshall has said that he lost chunks of memory because of his addiction. After overdosing on what doctors said was the equivalent to four bags of heroin and relapsing several times, Marshall eventually took to exercising as an alternative to his addiction. And famously, singer Elton John became a mentor for him, regularly calling him up to check on his sobriety. 
Marshall Mathers' impact on the music scene is undeniable. His witty, bold, and often controversial lyrics have reshaped how we perceive rap music. Although his talent is amazing, what's arguably more amazing is his determination to fight against the odds in order to succeed. And that is the heartbreaking life of Eminem. There's definitely more to this man than meets the eye. What do you guys think?